When attempting to identify bacterial cultures or soil samples from the field, scientists would normally have to take the samples back to a lab for diagnosis and evaluation. With the advance of new technology, such procedures are becoming a thing of the past. At Mississippi State University, the future of evaluating problems in the field is being changed by utilizing technology that uses infrared light in conjunction with spectroscopy to identify the chemical composition of various plants, bacteria, and fungi. Aided by funding from the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board, the research into this technology, termed Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, or FTIR for short, is being spearheaded by Dr. Ashley Brown. How FTIR works is it uh, takes infrared um, and it causes vibration between molecules. And so you can get chemical signature patterns based on the structures involved in it. So there's unique chemical signatures mm -hmm. for almost everything. And so then the software deconvolutes that and you can see clear separation between the fungus uh, based on their chemical signatures. Currently, a database of fungi, plant, and soil samples is being created with the ultimate goal of giving scientists, scouts, and consultants the ability to use this data in the field with portable FTIR devices. The portable devices will allow agricultural practitioners to precisely identify plant diseases and soil deficiencies without sending samples to the lab for delayed identification. This means faster identification of problems and subsequent faster solutions for remedy of these problems provided to the farmer. Your checkoff dollars working for you. The Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.